everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing testing of old wives tales. I'm currently almost 19 weeks pregnant. I have my anatomy scan on Friday, which I'm so excited about. And we are planning on finding out the gender. But before we do, I thought I would put some of these old wives tales to the test and see if any of them are true for me. I had originally planned on filming this with Jamie but he did start his new job today and we've been so busy in the last couple weeks with moving and getting everything ready to sell the condo that we never had time to film it together. So I'm gonna be filming it alone. I'm kind of limited to the tests that I can do because if he's not here, he can't help me out with them. So I picked ones that are easy enough for me to answer on my own. So the first one that I'm gonna do is if I was craving sweet or salty foods. I would say that I was craving more salty foods. I wanted french fries, potato chips, um, and I really didn't want anything sweet. Like we had some pop in the fridge. I didn't want to drink pop. We had some sparkling cider. I didn't want that either. I was just more into drinking water. Um, I found that some things were too sweet. So it says that if you're craving all things sweet, then you're having a girl, but salty, salty cravings, it's a boy. So I guess this one is one for boy. So the next one was how do you sleep? If you tend to sleep on your left side, then it means boy. And if you tend to sleep on your right side, it means girl. I find that I usually sleep on my left side. It's just more comfortable for me. So that means that it is another one for boy. The third wives tale that I picked was morning sickness. It says that if you have an excessive amount of morning sickness or just an overall upset stomach, that means you're having a girl. I was very lucky and I did not experience any morning sickness or nausea or upset stomach. So that is another tally for boy. The fourth wife's tale is about your skin and hair. It says that if your skin is glowing and your hair is full and rivals a shampoo commercial, then you're having a boy. And if you have breakouts and dull hair, then it's a girl. My experience has been that my acne has stayed pretty much normal to what it was before I got pregnant. And when I went to the hairdresser the other day, she did say that I had very thick hair. So I can't really tell the difference, um, but I guess that could mean one for boy. I don't know, that one's kind of hard to judge, but I don't know, my hair looks pretty good. So the fifth one that I picked out was moody or mellow. It says, if you find that you're more cranky and moody, it means you're having a your girl. And if you're feeling kind of chill and relaxed, then it means a boy. I have been very mellow up until maybe two or three days ago. <laughs> then I felt like I was definitely getting moodier. I would get upset more easily. So I don't know, so far I've been pretty even keel. So I'm gonna say one for boy because I think that the moodiness was kind of centered around all the life changes that we're going through right now with moving and Jamie starting a new job. Not so much, uh, due to the pregnancy, but just amplified by the pregnancy. <laughs> so the sixth one that I picked out was whether or not you're clumsy or graceful. So it says that if you're more graceful, you're having a girl. And if you tend to be more clumsy, it points to it being a boy. I don't really think that I'm any more or less clumsy or graceful. Jamie always says that I'm clumsy all the time. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't think that's really changed for me. So I'm gonna say that that sign points to a boy. The next wives tale is your dream of gender. So if you've dreamt that you're having a boy, it means that you're having a girl and vice versa. So the first time I dreamt we were having a girl and I've only had one other dream since then and it was that we had a boy. So this one is inconclusive. I've only had the two dreams and they've been the opposite each time, so there is no point on either side for that one. So the next one that I've picked is whether or not you've had heartburn or headaches. So it says if you're experiencing a lot of heartburn, you can blame it on the, a baby girl. 
on if you're experiencing a lot of headaches, you're probably carrying a boy. I have had no heartburn at all, but I have experienced a few more headaches. So that's another point for boy. The next wives tale is whether or not the dad has gained any weight. <laughs> so if your significant other has gained weight during your pregnancy, it says that you're having a girl. And if he doesn't show any signs of weight gain, then it's a boy. Jamie has actually lost weight. <laughs> so I guess that means boy. Um, he has a really hard time gaining weight anyway, so I don't know if that one would truly be predictive in this situation. <laughs> Finally, I decided to do the Chinese gender prediction charts. Um, I went online and I picked three out just to see what the conclusion was because I know that different ones will say different things. So the first one I did was on what to expect and they said that it's gonna be a girl. The next one that I did was on the bump and it said that it was gonna be a boy. <laughs> and finally, the third one, the tiebreaker, said that it's gonna be a girl. So if I've counted correctly, that is the only test that said it was going to be a girl. So I have eight points for boy and one point for girl. I don't care either way. Um, I will be happy as long as the baby is healthy. Um, I know that some people in our lives have predicted that it's gonna be a boy. My mom really wants the baby to be a girl. She's really hoping for that. So sorry, mom, if you're watching this and you're a little bit disappointed by the outcomes, we'll know for sure on Friday. I'm so excited to find out and just make sure that baby's all healthy and doing well. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you tried out any of these gender predictions for your baby's gender and if any of them worked or not. Also let me know in the comment section down below if you're team green and you found it more exciting to wait until the baby was born to find out the gender. We did have a lot of people try to convince us to wait, um, but for our own sanity, we just wanted to know sooner rather than later so we could start preparing and setting up for either gender. We won't be heartbroken if we can't find out on Friday if baby's uncooperative or anything like that, but it'll be exciting to know and we can't wait, we're so excited. So anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.